guys welcome back to Boots and Bounty Homestead we have a slug problem out in one of our beds it has done eaten up our cauliflower our cabbage Brussels sprouts everything that we had in the late spring since we have pulled them out we still see slugs everywhere so we are going to um, try a solution to see if it works um, I've seen it on YouTube and I want to see if it actually works because we've got our summer crop that's going in and I don't want to lose them because I had a really bad time last year growing um, the squash that's going in the bed so I don't want to have any problems so what I did was um, we recomposted the bed we turned it over put some fertilizer in it sprinkled it with DE and let it set for a week and we have noticed there are still slugs in there I have sprinkled some Epsom salt down and it has not stopped them yet so last resort we are going to try beer. You are correct. We are going to try beer. So go ahead and open that. And since our bed is like five foot by ten foot, we're going to do two cups. <laughs> Daddy sacrificing a beer for the slugs. Okay, so put about half a can each in the cups. Go kind of fast. There you go. Okay. Pour some in the other one. Sorry, this is last minute. Our kitchen is kind of end of day disaster. It's just got more head than the other. Yeah, pour a little bit more in that one. Is there the rest of it? Probably. Okay. All right, so we're going to take these cups and we're going to head outside and show you. It's dark outside. We're going to show you by light. Um, we're going to show you by light what to do with these cups. All right, guys. So we are over here in the side bed. I already have some zucchini planted. You can see I've got. DE everywhere all over the top of the compost and what we're gonna do let me come over here and we had one of these out yesterday so right here we have dug a little hole and what you want to do give me one of the cups and in this cup you know it's only up to like right there so it's only about a half a cup of beer in here um, and what we're going to do is we're going to lay this sideways. Now, it's going to be at an angle like this. This end has to touch the dirt or compost or whatever to be able to get the slugs to go in it. And then we just kind of push this up around it. So as they are, as they are uh, crawling around or whatever that they will smell it and they'll go in there all right so there's one yeah there's another one down there so this is what it looks like from the side all right and then down here yeah now it's gonna face that way okay where is slide it put it down in there yeah, it's already a hole there. Just slide it down no, in there. I was just wondering where the plants are. Too. You see them. The six big green things. Uh-huh. Thank you. That's good. That's good. I know. It's the other side. <clears throat> well, hey, you know what? Pick that up. This? Yeah. Bring it down here. Let's do it right here. Right here? Yep. Dig a hole. Now sling it everywhere. It Don't be silly. Skinny. It's warm. Yeah, it's warm. <laughs> it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay, now dig it where you can lay it sideways. Yep. There you go. Tilt it just a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. That's where dirt's go is in it. Okay, so the slugs are only really bothering this down here. This so this is where our two kind of 
almost dead plants are <laughs> at the moment and that may be why they're eating them but i need to get rid of them so i can put my new plants in here to replace these because those down there are doing good these down here are not and i want to put something else down here not not replace these plants with the same ones but i'm going to put some different plants down here and i need to get the slugs gone so hang tight and i will show you what we got in the morning good night sluggies all right guys next morning fresh out of the shower let's go over here see if we got anything in those cups so let's walk over here all right, let's see what we got. It's like going Easter egg hunting. Ooh. We've got two down in there, looks like. <clears throat> oh my God. Let's see if I can get y'all where you can see them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's probably ten more in this one. Wow. And believe it or not, I got like ten the day before because I had already done this. <laughs> I was desperate. <clears throat> so we got like ten out the first time the first day. And between these two today, there's probably 12 more. So yeah, guys, if you have a slug problem, put you out some beer. It will catch those slugs. So I have already killed 22 in two days. I mean, slugs were everywhere. Like at night, if you come out here and turn the flashlight on, you can see it just... It's just like somebody threw glitter all over the all over the beds because you can see everywhere they've been. So I knew there was a lot. I did not know that it was going to be this much. So we're going to um, probably empty out the um, the one that has the ten in it, ten or twelve. We'll empty those out. We'll actually give those slugs to the chickens, and then we're going to leave the beer in here because it's going to continue to do its job. So that way I can keep these slugs off my plants. So if you have a slug problem, you need to do this. Just go buy you a can of beer or get one out of the fridge and you know, pour half in one cup and half in another if you need to spread it out. And it only seems to be on one end of the bed. We put the other cup on the other end of the bed and it didn't catch any because there's none down there. All of my slugs are on one end of the bed and I don't know why. It's not wet on wetter on that end of the bed. I mean, it's... It's literally the distance between there and there. All of them are down here. There's none down here. So I don't know why they are attracted down there to that one. So anywho, there's you a follow-up on if it works or not. Give your slug some beer and give them a drinking problem so they will get out of your hair or your flower beds. Bye, guys.